On your ShipDay dashboard, there are several account details and settings that can be changed. If you click on your profile on the top right, a drop down menu will appear with a couple different places to go. Under My Account, you can change your account and plan settings, while the actual settings page is more for operational setups. On this account details page, you are able to change your personal information, including your company name, password, and logo. Here you can also set your appropriate time zone and location, along with the language and specific currency. These should all be set according to your business's location, time, and currency of the area. Under the Billing and Usage tab, you can see your payment that you have on file and specific usage information with your account. It will tell you how many orders you've had per month and how much you spent on these paid orders and your ship day plan. On the Your Plan tab, you will see the three plans ShipDay has to offer. Feel free to change and upgrade at any time. Our premium plan allows you to completely rebrand our ShipDay tools to match your business, and you're allotted 300 orders into that price before having to pay any additional fees. If you have any questions, please contact us. On your ShipDay dashboard, there are several settings you can look at and change as you please. Business settings include your business type. This can either be pickup and delivery or delivery only. If you are a restaurant where pickup is always going to be the same place, you will be a delivery only business. If you don't have a single pickup location, you should choose pickup and delivery. Under this tab, you can also change the maximum time allowed for deliveries. If an order takes longer than your maximum time, it will be marked red as late. You can also change the distance measurement standard for your country here. Kilometers or miles, it's up to you. Under customer notification, you have the ability to turn on tracking for your customers so that they can see the real-time progress of their orders. You can send a tracking link through email or text or both. Also, you can choose to send a delivery receipt to the customer's email after the delivery is completed. Next, we have the dispatch settings. You are able to turn on auto dispatching, which will send out orders to drivers without you having to manually do it on the dashboard. If you turn this on, you will have a couple new options to choose. Under assign to, you can pick which method you want to use when dispatching. It depends on really what you think will work best for your business and drivers. You can also change the maximum amount of assigned orders, which controls how many orders a driver can have at one time. Dispatching to online drivers only is a setting that does exactly what it sounds like. If this is turned on, only a driver that is logged into the driver app and online are able to receive orders. The dispatch order time window allows you to take scheduled orders and move them to your current order tab automatically when the delivery time is approaching. If this is set to 90 minutes, then any scheduled order that fits that timeline will be moved to the current order tab for dispatch. Driver response time sets how long your drivers have to accept or decline orders on the driver app. If a driver doesn't respond in time, then it will be sent back to be dispatched to a different driver. Depending on how quickly you need orders picked up, you might want to change this to a shorter time period. Under Route Planning, you can choose the option to turn routing on. This will only work for delivery-only businesses like restaurants and other businesses with one pickup location. When you turn it on, you can choose whether you would like to optimize routes by travel time or distance. This allows your drivers to have optimized routes to save time and be more efficient. We have another video on routing that goes more in depth. Next, we have driver pay settings. This allows you to change the pay rate for your drivers through a few options. Per delivery allows you to pay a certain amount every time a delivery is made per distance allows a certain amount of pay per mile, and percentage of a delivery fee allows you to give your drivers any percentage of fees that you choose. All of this depends on your business and how you want to pay your drivers. 
finally, if you have a premium account with Shipday, you will be able to access the brand customization settings. This allows you to completely rebrand our delivery tools to match your business. There is a separate video explaining everything you can do with brand customization and how it will benefit your drivers and customers. That is an overview of the settings on your Shipday dashboard. If you are a business in the United States, you will also have a third-party section of your settings. This allows you to connect your Shipday account to third-party services like DoorDash and Postmates. We also have a separate video explaining how to set this up.